Listen, we living in crazy times, I'll tell you. And um for sure. I think uh preparedness is your best bet in a lot of fields. Um November 6th. Woke up this morning. November 6th, we are doing a Rappers with Rifles retreat. Now, you getting nice? This Yo, do do they do the um do they do the 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 trap shooting where like they shoot the disc and you not hold shoot the rifle in the air? And... No, no, not that's uh no. skeet shooting you're talking about. No, mm-hmm. but we shoot uh you know steel and shit like that. You know, All right. steel targets. Um, so yeah, November six we're gonna be out in the Poconos. There are twenty spots available for this. It's gonna go fast. I'm. I didn't even post it on my uh, Instagram yet, but I will. But I'm letting y'all get up on it first right now. Here it is. Um, If y'all want to sign up, go to surplusarmy.com. Surplusarmy.com. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be great. It's going to be out there. You can rent. You don't have to bring nothing. You rent a rifle, a pistol, and... uh, you're going to learn some things. The perfect cleanse and reboot for a healthy immune system. Now I'm open to talking about my jokes with Netflix employees who feel like he's inflicted harmful jokes on them, inflicted harm on them with his jokes. So now he's offering a sit down with the Netflix employees. What do you think, Lord? Man, these motherfuckers just did a little walkout and all of this type of shit. Fuck them employees. Okay? Fuck them motherfucking Netflix employees. And y'all can cancel my goddamn subscription if you want to. I don't give a fuck. Listen. Let's get that applause. It's like... Where is all this outrage? Let's take it back to to, to his point. Where is all this outrage when you have jokes about black people getting killed and all kinds of crazy shit? We've been doing this. We got whole genres of music that dedicate themselves to the destruction of black people and nobody's walking out and boycotting and all that type of shit for that. Yet, this guy says a couple of jokes that make some people uncomfortable. And now we're supposed to act like this is one of the, you know, crises of our lifetime or some shit. Like, get the fuck out of here. the fuck out of here i don't want to hear it like i don't want to hear it like we all got we all got shit that we got to endure we all got uncomfortable shit that we got to hear and and deal with you know especially living here in america Mm. and you know the fact that dave Chappelle said um you know Being a woman is a fact. The fact that he's... Because this is the type of shit they're mad at. It's not like he said, fuck you, and, you know, y'all shouldn't be able to do what you want to do. No, he didn't say none of that. He just said shit that they don't agree with. 
like the misgendering. Uh, yo, don't don't even use words like that on here, bro. No, you come there on. Is no, come I'm on. just saying. You, you know what? You know vernacular. I'm just saying. Don't even spread that shit. Don't you, even you, spread that shit. That's not a word. Right, but but no. What I'm saying in context of what the Netflix employees are upset about in 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 context of their narrative wait say that again in context of the narrative that the netflix employees are upset about right right their narrative their narrative is that word you see what i'm saying right we may not necessarily agree that the word doesn't exist, but that's the narrative they're trying to frame it under. Listen, first of all, you can't have it both ways. Right. These same Netflix motherfuckers who want you to, who got mad because he said that, you know, being a woman is a fact or whatever, like, They'll also tell you to trust the science when it comes to other shit that we're dealing with. When it comes to the venom, they'll tell you to trust the science. Well, how come you don't trust the science there? See, because science tells you that there is definitively a man and a woman. And you're saying, no. There, you don't trust the science. But here, you trust the science. You know what I mean? You trust the science when it comes to, you know, recombinant DNA being put into people's fucking bodies and fucking fetal lung cells of Caucasian males. Some other shit we can get into. But um, mm -hmm. you'll trust it when it comes to that, but you won't trust the science of just saying that a man is a man and a woman is a woman. Also, it's crazy. Can't also, have it both ways. Sorry. What they're failing to realize. Let me ask you this, Lord Jamar. What does the B stand mm -hmm. for? What does the B in stand LB, for? Bisexual. In LGBTQ. I believe it's bisexual. Doesn't bi mean two? Yes. Man and woman. Whoa. Whoa, can't have it both ways. Oh, you want to be, you want to be bi, right? Oh, why you want to be bi? Well, because, uh, because I like men and women. Wait, but there isn't men and women. So how are you bisexual, right? Man, get the fuck out of here. Mm. These motherfuckers is trisexual. They'll try any fucking thing, God damn it. Okay. Seriously. Lord Jamar's on fire. All right. Moving on. Dr. Oh, get the, hey, hey. Blue, somebody said gender is a social construct. If you don't want to get your ass restricted from my goddamn chat, you're going to get out of here with that type of talk. Okay. <laughs> we don't play that fucking shit around here. Gender is not a fucking social construct. It's an actual thing created in nature. Okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. So you got to understand the whole premise behind this is to say that God makes mistakes. Mm. That God mm -hmm. makes mistakes. Even though I was just in a store, right? And you have a guy, an openly gay guy, Karamo Brown or something, who has a children's book. Who, when you know you, you're going down the aisle, you know, and they want you to get those impulse buys and shit when you're about to buy some shit. So I see this children's book. It had his name on it. And, and the title of it was, I Am Perfectly Made. And I'm like, wow. That's quite a title for 
people who really going against how they were made to title a book. Like, mm -hmm. I am perfectly made. Like, he's trying to say I'm perfectly made even though I'm attracted to men. You see what I'm saying? That's probably the message that would be in the books. And this is for little kids, which is crazy. But anyway, um, coming after the children. He's not saying that. See, here's the thing. We are perfectly made. No one's in the wrong body. And, oh, I came here and I felt like this man. If you felt that way, then somebody fucked with your feelings. Mm -hmm. And that's easily done with hormones, putting foods and all kind of shit. Like, stop it. God don't make mistakes. God don't make mistakes. And, that, and the whole premise behind that is that, yes, God does make mistakes. We're born in the wrong bodies. How come this only happens with humans? <laughs> you never seen a female uh, dog or anything try to, you know, nope, I'm born in the wrong body. I want to be a male dog. Like, fuck out of here. I think I've seen you, Lord Jamar. You addressed something similar to that about feelings don't mean anything because you can manipulate, manipulate feelings yeah. through a thermostat. Use that example. Oh, you can absolutely manipulate yeah. feelings through a thermostat. I can make you more hot, more cold, just by me turning a dial. You know what I mean? Now you can say, oh, I've always felt cold all my life. That's because I kept you in a cold room, you big dummy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've always felt hot all my life. That's because I kept the thermostat up. I've always felt like this. That's because I've been giving you fucking female hormones and your fucking food and shit like that. And for some people, it's going to react and some people it's not. Mm. It just depends. It just depends. Mm. Food in the water, huh? That's why you'd be hard pressed to fucking find shit that don't have soy in it out there. Go, 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 go buy you some cookies and cakes that don't have soy in it. Go mm. find it. Go try to find some right now. You cake loving motherfuckers, you cookie and cake eating motherfuckers. Go and try to find something that now it's out there, but watch how hard it is to, to try to find some shit that doesn't have any soy in it. Why? Why? And the soy produces the female estrogen. Oh, estrogen. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. Somebody said, let them eat cake. Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. Let them eat cake because it's full of soy. Birthday cake. Cake, 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 cake. Wow. Connecting the dots. That's what we do here on the Godcast.